gave him his knife back? Well, if you've got a better idea. Better than three of you wandering into the magic forest to bag a hunk of ham with nothing but a little bitty hunting knife? Hell no. It's the best idea I ever heard. Well? Well, I can't tell you it's definitely Michael's, but it looks like his boot print. There's one over here, too. That sounds like a trail. You got a gun for me? You're not coming. Excuse me? You're not coming. Someone has to be here to take care of the button. So why should that person be me? I can track, carry You're a gun. You're not coming. You're staying. Right? Supplies all set. You got food, fresh water, yeah. everything. Hey, no offense, but uh, I got work to do. Why the sudden interest? Because I'm going with you. We're going after him. Hey, what? What happened? Michael went after Walt. Went after Walt? Pulled a gun on me, put us both in there. I went after Walt. Hey, what are you doing? and you know how to handle one of these. We're never going to see him again, and that's going to be on us, on you, and on me. You're exactly right, Jack. But if I were you, I'd listen to Mr. Locke. You got it weighted down with something. Try it off somewhere. Come on, lift me higher. Probably be best if we just keep our hands at our sides, gentlemen. Where's Michael? Don't worry about Michael. He's not gonna find us. What do you want? Why don't you build us a fire, John? Tell me, you go over a man's house for the first time. Do you take off your shoes? You put your feet up on his coffee table? You walk in the kitchen and eat food that doesn't belong to you? Open the door to rooms you got no business opening. So either Jack comes back here and kills me or my people find out where I'm being held and they do it. Why would your own people want to kill you? Because the man in charge 
He's a great man, John. A brilliant man. But he is not a forgiving man. He'll kill me because I failed, John. This is not your island. This is our island. And the only reason you're living on it is because we let you live on it. You see this glass house you're living in, Jack? How about I get you some stone? Let's do this the easy way, what do you say? Don't! Jack, the decision you gotta make right now is this. Can you live with the fact that I shot this woman right in front of you? And you could have saved her life by giving up and going home? I'm gonna count to three. One, <laughs> two, stop. <laughs> now them. Give me the other one, too. Do you remember anything? I was working in my garden when Vincent ran up. Then it started raining. Then there was a bag over my head. And I was being dragged. How many were there? I don't... I didn't see anything. What are you doing? Now they're playing. Looks like it's been here a while. Go up there. Maybe there's a radio <sighs> or something. Are you insane? If I go up there, that thing's gonna fall. You're not gonna fall. What? You want him to die? Come on, let's keep going. What is that? I mean, I thought we were just gonna go hide. Why do we need to take prisoners? We're keeping her because she's gonna be valuable. How is she gonna be valuable? I mean, this is a hostage, love. Uh-huh. No, that's not what I signed up for. What did you sign up for, Hugo? Look, I'm just saying, I think we, if we let her go, they'll look at it as a sign of good faith. They'll look at it as an act of foolishness, which is what it would be. We're just trying to come up with some kind of compromise. We're beyond we compromise. And right now, Hugo, I'm making the decision. Is that going to be a problem for you?
See you, James. Don't beat yourself up, Freckles. If you told me to stay behind, I'd done the same damn thing. Hey. Yeah. I'm sorry, too. 